Hello, and welcome to the December monthly update for Utilico Emerging Markets. I'm Jacqueline Brewers, Deputy Portfolio Manager. UEM had another strong month, with its net asset value total return increasing by 5.4%, outperforming the MSCI Emerging Markets Index, which in sterling terms was up by 2.7%. Year-to-date, UEM's NAV is up 15.1%, significantly ahead of the MSCI EM index, which was up 4.1% over the year. So what has happened in December? Global equity markets continue to be strong, as expectations that the US Federal Reserve will cut interest rates this year were enhanced with the Federal Open Market Committee indicating there could be three cuts. This fueled a more positive outlook for emerging markets. In LATAM, Brazil, UEM's largest exposure at 25% of assets under management, saw the Brazilian Bosvespa up 5.4% for the month, the Mexican market up 6.2% and the Chilean market up 6.5%, despite the second Chilean constitution proposal being rejected again in a national plebiscite. Asia followed suit, with the Indian market up by 7.8%, hitting an all-time high during the month of December whilst the Vietnamese Ho Chi Minh Index was up by 3.3%. The Philippines market was up by 3.6% and the Thai Set Index was up by 2.6%. The outliers for the month were Hong Kong's Hang Seng Index, which was flat, and the Chinese market, which was down 1.8%. PMI data reported from China continues to be mixed, with Beijing announcing more industrial policies in an attempt to boost domestic demand. UEM's portfolio performed well in December, benefiting from the strong tailwinds of the broader market. Kinks, the Korean data centre operator, witnessed a 19.6% increase in its share price, whilst Impost, the Polish logistics operator, saw another strong month, up 15.5%, boosted by the news that PPF Group has increased its shareholding in the company to just under 22%. Power Grid Corporation of India was also up 13.2%, helped by the strong Indian market, but also benefiting from winning in a competitive auction process some transmission lines and substation assets. At the end of December, UEM's unlisted Hong Kong subsidiary received a capital distribution from CGN Capital Partners Infra Fund 3, representing partial payment of the exit proceeds. This takes UEM's unlisted exposure down to 6.2%. The second quarterly interim dividend of 2.15p per ordinary share in respect of the year-end 31st of March 2024 was also paid in December, and UEM bought back 1.2 million shares, taking total buybacks to 7.8 million shares, or 3.9% of the share capital. For more details, please do read UEM's December fact sheet.